Yes. I basically mean so. I'm just connected to it, right? Do what now? Yeah, I'm just attuned. Okay. Good. Yeah, angle senses interface. Okay. Let me do it and see the real quick. Just because I want to take a look at the. Oh, the I've both succeeded in the sanity crap. test. Yeah. Whoops. But I got him halfway down with those character a lot joy lower level. Pain. She takes joy so. in the fact that she knows she's going to catch it. Cruel. Yeah. It, it would be cruel. Now I can use like I'd say so. the second okay. character. She's cruel then. Who's well? And whatever I, my virtue down is mostly only, sober. Only to her health oh, okay. no. and but... Nick, I'm sorry. That's the angle talking. It is a cool part. Virtues and flaws are not the. Critical part of character creation. It's for people who don't know how to role play. <laughs> well, I like to have everything that I can have filled out. Yeah. Apparently, I need to check the angle as I draw back again because I saw something about making a challenging insanity test. And I want to I think make. you have to do that every month for being an angle pilot. Just every month? Yeah. Because I have to do that every month for being a taker. Okay. If it's every don't month. Don't you guys, like, then. lose sanity? If, if we, we fail. fail. Yeah, if we, if we fail, we can lose a good chance. Angle pilots and tagers eventually just burn out. You succeeded in a challenge insanity test every month of game time. Oh, yeah. Failure adds another insanity point. On the other hand, you have one specific angle that now obeys you. I wonder if you guys can like undergo constant therapy to make the chest easier. We, we have to. It's storyline wise, they're required to. Tagers, I don't think they do. I don't think they're required to, but it probably helps. Probably. I feel sorry for the psychologists <laughs> that, you know, take these people in. So, uh, tell me how you're doing. It talks to me. It talks to me even when I'm not there. Make it stop talking. Okay. Time for a uh, retirement for you. And, uh, right, how are what are you how talking are you? about? Wartime. Retirement? You no, put... that's frontline material. You don't put the incredibly insane person who could very easily just start attacking everything. On the you. front line by himself? Yes. Maybe, yes, you do. Maybe by himself. You did not specify by himself or at least in the front line, society, which implies more people. Fortunately, most characters are probably able to keep a firm grip on reality on their own. Hey, Russia was already killed, right? Not all of it. A good I have a map of what the fuck happened to this world. What about Canada? Tell me what's right. going on with Canada. Exactly. We have weird markings. Yes, we do. Canada, Canada, Canada. Does it doesn't matter what they look like. Yeah. Okay. So I, I didn't. There's, there's a map in the, this. I don't. This poor computer has got so much plugged into it right now. All of my holes, all of them. Except the one. You're just opening the same book. Not opening the book. There it is. Roll map. Twenty eighty-five. There you go. Canada. Okay, Canada's good. I come from the wilderness of Canada. He, he just cancelled out an HP attack so he was doing to counter. Oh, he's... Actually, that's right. He's like a counter character. Russia is mostly... He's he countered... Like, he was doing another move, and then he was like, counter explosion! I was like, what? But that wasn't the move you were doing just a second ago! How could you that's, just... That's Megu. Yeah. Except for, like, that little spit right there. Which is Meg. Alright. Yeah. Uh, apparently Moscow is safe. Well, it's purged. Uh, all of this is wrapped and stormed. It's been purged by it. And uh, the Order of Dagon is all around here. I think near the water, basically. Yeah. Well, fishmen, yeah. There's you, Meg. Okay, so. And Megu apparently owned both poles. 
Yeah, they they work best in the cold or something like that. Was the cold was there? That's cool. Like that. That's why they took the bolts in Russia. Because they're like, yes, cold. Coast Siberia. John was born on the USA and Canada's border. What did his mom do? Just straddle the line and be like, he's gotta be both. Yes. <laughs> Dual membership. Can American. The abominable snowman. Migu. Migo. Bugs. Bugs. So that's all you. That's all. Okay. Uh, I think I'm ready. Yep. Yep. There it is. <sighs> oh right. I need to specialize in one more thing. Shit. Okay. Uh, the drawback of aging. If your character is 40 to 50, he's considered age and loses one agility and tenacity. Really? That's kind of shitty. And he gets five skill points. Okay, that's less shitty. But I need to look at uh, what were the specializations for Marksman. Oh. He doesn't even give a sign like that he's supposed so to be countering or power. anything like it. He's just like instant win. Marksmanship power armor. I hate him. Yep. Anything else you need? Uh, no, that's it. Okay. I think we're marksmanship. Wait, 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 wait. I'm being stupid. I'm not asking an obvious question. What? My charge beam. What kind of combat skill does that take? Marksman. Marksman? Not a support? It's a gun. Okay. Uh, what? I, he apparently I turned my attack move into oh. his attack move. I, I don't even... Machine like, guns, grenade launchers, what? light anti-armor weapons, flamethrowers, that doesn't mortars, even... more mobile artillery... Mech rocket pods, auxiliary weapon systems, missile launchers, battle cruiser weaponry. Okay. Like the amount of bullshit that apparently I'm not allowed to attack him because then he'll explode on me. Okay. I am ready, yes. He can just turn my HP attacks into his HP attacks. I've been ready to take my seat back. And, uh, Mike, I assume you're ready. Oh, yeah. Mike's oh, been ready. Yeah. Well, then. That's where I can have his seat back. Allow me to walk around for another. Oh, Jesus! Yeah. You're gonna walk around for an oh, Jesus? Yeah. Well, oh, that's a pretty long time. Yeah. Oh, that is my seat. Yeah. As it happens by my uh, jacket. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me pause in the middle of this battle and trades. Kyle, you knocked my sketchbook off! Did not. You just weren't a visionary enough. Visionary. I, I wasn't aware that you were going to put your feet all over my things. No. Yes. Well, you should have been. That's very good. You shouldn't do that. Well, Who should I swear to then? Someone else. I'll sit over here so I can look at Kyle's computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can take notes off and whatnot. Look. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. What? Uh, what is it with these people that just open the door? I'm like, they're, sorry. They're wondering if this is the right area. Uh, I'm guessing. That it's... plus, if the room's not reserved, you can just walk in here. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm oh. assuming it's not reserved altogether that often. Yeah. But you're, you know, reserving it. Kyle's. Because, yeah, you're, yeah. Uh, yeah. Five ten. Five ten. Yeah, uh, like one seventy. Yeah, one seventy. One seventy. It, it'd probably be a little lighter, but I assume you mean relatively muscular. Decently, yeah. Yeah. So like one seventy. Yeah. Seven uh, strength, so like two above average for strength. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm happy with that height for my character. No. My guy is huge. You, you, I want to be you know, average, maybe a little taller than average, but still have a lot of way to go up. When Cameron, you need to back up well, for a second. My dude's like almost seven feet. Anyways, uh, I, 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 I called 210 a good, like, 
built weight for some guy that's almost seven feet. What about you? Two ten? Seven feet. Two ten Two ten's good. He's not like Uber buff. Ball. I'm the boss. You lower this seat a lot. No, I'm sorry, Melissa. <laughs> it looks so cool. Looks. I will kill you all. Why would you do this? Except for my turn. Right. I'm, I'm curious. curious. Oh, yeah. I'm free. Okay, I take it. Guys! There's only a few in there. No. I like the red ones. Hold on, hold on. Give me a green one and um like yellow one. Give me there's a uh, BO. Right. Give me gummy bears. I don't care what colors. I just want delicious gummy bears in my hand. Uh hold on. I'll give you an orange one too. Oh, also, what color do you want? All of them. <laughs> I'll give you she wants the box from you. Yes, I do. Eat the red ones and give me the box. Okay, I'll give you these so to hold you off for right now. What about you, Mike? Just give me a few and I'm good. I want one of those huge gummy bears. Oh my god, they're like 10 pound things? No, they're not 10 pounds, they're like 2 pounds, but there we go. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Wow. That love was faded. I got all that I wanted. Who else wants this? Oh, you guys. Alright. <laughs> I got some room here. Eric. Pass this over to the wrong way. Okay. Oh, here you go. Enjoy the pit of acid. Over <laughs> here, another pit of acid. <laughs> Spartacus. The gastro log for it. Cool. <laughs> and there's some undigested Chinese food. I'm going to somehow Yum. inhale the gummy bear. <laughs> Yummy. Okay. Alright, Nick. Let's get this ship on the road before we come up with more stupid shit. I don't want to snort gummy bears. <laughs> Nick, you have a, you know, like, time limit. Before more stupid shit comes. Alright, well, see, I was, um, <laughs> I was considering things. Okay. 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 So you guys are in the military. Yep. What are you doing to that poor gummy bear? Air. So. Oh, gee. Oh, you're Let going to have some in. privacy on our honeymoon, please. <laughs> are, are you making the bone? They will no. not produce more red honey bears for you. Shut up, girl. I can dream. <laughs> okay. So, you guys. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are in the military. And shit has been going down. Mm -hmm. You all have witnessed shit going down. And now. Do, do you guys want to know each other or something? No, fuck that. Alright. So none of you have ever met each other. Okay. And as is, you know, typical in these wars, you don't usually get like, you know, 50 soldiers and are like, alright, time for fighting. You're like, 
you know, all right, here's our like five to seven awesome dudes. And uh, you guys are kind of not a direct fighting force, but mostly an all around support force. And they're like, all right, guys. Um, you know, you all get your new assignments, and then you all head to the, the barracks. Okay. You have your own small area, as is typical for this army. Awesome. They want, they want people to bunk together. How close is my mecca? It is, like, like, halfway across the base. It would take, like, two minutes to get there. Okay. You're okay. Okay. Whoops. Well, that was okay now. Peter tried to get so they're like, you know, you'll get your first assignment in about four days. Chill till then. Woo, vacation! Vacation for Okay, so you guys go to the barracks in order to work up a rapport with your teammates that you will certainly love and work together with fine. Okay. So, what shit? What shit? I'm on my shit, my books and crap. I like reading. And then I, uh, I don't know. I assume we have like foot lockers and shit? Yeah. Put my shit in my foot locker. I can yeah, yeah, have like more than, than foot lockers. This is more like a permanent military base. You have like cabinets and stuff. Well, then I put my shit in my cabinets. Alright. I have my shit in my cabinets. Yeah, I think it's safe to assume we just all put our stuff away. And, and then you guys decide to like talk to each other, I guess. Um, I, I, are we like sharing a room all together? It's, it's like a, it's not like one room, it's like one set of rooms. And it was can... actually built for five people, there's a spare room. Okay, so it's kind of like a, a part, like a combina combinized apartment barracks. So it's like, like your house, kind of. You've been assigned to, you know, Squad 67 or whatever. So it's the squad's little area. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. These wars now are usually fought with small teams of elites and not like a bunch of dudes. Yeah. Or, so I guess Drav enters the room, looks around, walks over to his weapon, like, container, takes out his gun, sits down and starts dismantling it. I assume we have a TV and like, a, a, do we have a common room or something? Yeah. Sure. Is there a TV in there? Yeah, sure. Watch the TV. Travis now commandeered the uh, kitchen table. All right. So for the sake of dismantling and rebuilding, you're yeah, yeah, using the dining room table to disassemble your gun, and you sit down and put on like maintaining your mecha monthly. Okay. That's an interesting TV show. Hey, old a new TV show. Click. <sighs> I want to watch a crime show. Please. Hi there. <laughs> okay. Click, click, please. Remote. Yay! Random flipping through channels hoping to find something. <laughs> At least you can think about your mecha or read <laughs> one of your 40 mecha based books. Or any by mecha based manga. So I guess we all just went into our room. Nobody asks any questions. You have a love for full <laughs> mecha <laughs> fiction. My character has it. Nick, Nick. not only do I have a love of it, but I know a good bit of how to read it. Mm. Two ranks of literacy. So I, I'm working on my gun. Alright. Uh, I guess we're in the same general area of... Me and her are in the same general area as that guy who's working on his gun, but we're watching TV. What's this guy doing? I'm in my room to a guitar. So you're being anti Yes. Uh, acoustic guitar and electric guitar. Hmm. Electric. I hate acoustics. I was thinking Tagers sound more like electric guitar kind of people anyway. Yes. Okay, so? Now I'm thinking of Tager Bands. <laughs> well, the squad has introduced itself. Yep. In a way, yes. Alright, so some guy likes TV, somebody else likes TV more, some guy likes to be alone, and some guy likes guns. 
Yeah? Wow, that pretty much sums it up. Alright, and no one knows what to call each other. My character finishes mantling his gun. He starts dismantling it again. You all suddenly recall that military law requires that you be able to address your compatriots during combat and decide to introduce each other. Oh. At least give, like, call signs or something. Be like, I'm Big Jimbo the Ham Lover. That's your call sign. I'm just kidding. It's your call. This is Black Wind and Big Jimbo the Ham Lover. <laughs> Uh, so, name's John. Either of you? Tink, tink. Either of you? Tink, tink. I'm Fusion. Drive. Tink, 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 tink. I, I, I pilot a puppy. I put the guitar you pilot a puppy. Yes. Myself. You pilot a puppy. Like, yes. Have me dive out. Be yes. like, <laughs> No. To introduce yourself? Do you, I, I do you ride on the back of your puppy? I don't ride on the back of my puppy. Do you have like a little saddle, saddle for your puppy? I ride inside of my puppy. So let's drown. Well, lady, that's John, really fusion. And it's not, it's puppy. I walk out there this. You have a puppy. Yes. And you ride inside of it. Ruffle through picture. It's puppy. Oh, it's one of those. What do you mean, the puppy? I never thought it looked like a puppy, by the way, but I'm going to double check the picture. Grab finishing reconstructing his gun. He goes against his other gun. His attitude is similar it's to the offense. Look, look, I'm not being mean about your giant puppy. puppy. And now he's working on his other gun. I'm just I'm saying. Size slightly, seeing the picture of the angle. I'm just saying. Is. It's not exactly what I consider to be a puppy. You're weird. Yes, yes I am, I suppose. What do you do? Well, me? See, me and Kara take care of the heavy stuff. Who's that? Pulls out a picture of Kara. It's power armor. You're weird. Says the puppy pilot. Puppy can talk to me. So can Kara. That's not right. Oh, it's right. Help me. Don't get in between. Tinker, 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 tinker. They put me in a house of crazy people. You're one to talk. I think we're the two crazy people, technically. Technically. Tinker. So quiet guy, what's going on? There's two quiet guys. Talking about the one that hasn't even talked in Houston. <laughs> I well, didn't want to interrupt your discussion of puppies and mechs. Look, look, look. All I'm saying is, my mech can talk to me just like her puppy can talk to her. I'm part puppy. Are you part whatever she, what she is? No, I'm not a cyborg. Puppy better then. If you say so. Yes. Just keep your puppy. Wait, 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 wait a second. Am I am I stuck in here with three other no other humans in here? Tinker, 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 tinker. Technically, we are humans, kind of. Three is up. Oh, yes, you clearly weren't true. raised by the Zai. Nope. The name's Karana Chicago Taker. Yeah. They call me Ghost. Oh, that's my. Your middle name is Chicago. Yes, it's my whole. Your middle name. It, you know how this shit works, <laughs> John. John. There, are, like Nazadi, are like forty percent of you know the intelligent Earth population that you like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the Migo are intelligent Earth population, but you don't like them, so we don't count it. Okay. Well, if you're Ghost Chicago, and she's Fusion Puppy. Not Fusion Puppy, just Fusion. Puppy is Puppy. She has a puppy. Yeah, I know. Keep it away from me. And He's I think so his nice name was Darv. Drav. <laughs> tinker, 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 tinker. I thought you just put that together. He's on a different one. Yeah, I am. I'm on the second one now. How many do you have? Two. Good enough. I, I have one. 
looking at the uh, the Migo mechs because you know got no more about them. You guys are gonna be fighting them, and I was just amused by the one of the descriptions of the wasp. The name wasp. Is that the scout mech? Yeah. The name wasp refers to the mech's frightening rocket system made of two huge linked pods. You know wasps and their rocket systems. <laughs> So, so, I have puppy. You want me to give you, you a video book later? Care? Cara. Cara. Yep, my Cara. Cara, what are you doing? What do you do? Do you drive stuff? Not exactly. Hoist up, finish gun. Points. I think he drives a gun. <laughs> do we have it? I shoot. We are a saw Megatron. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you, Chicago Ghost? Ghost Chicago. I'm gonna figure out a way to make that a nickname somehow. You know, Corona ghost or Ghost. Chicago. But, but but there might be other Chicagos. There are a lot of them. Yes. Okay, it will be okay, because if there's other Chicago's, then I'll qualify them by calling them ghost afterwards. I just hope I realize you're talking to me. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, you should respond to ghosts, right? Yeah? There could be other ghosts. Hmm. Hey, wait. The Girl. ghost of Chicago passed. Probably make sure, making sure all my guns are okay. I take out my armor and start going over it, making sure there's no problems with it. It looks fine. You're done. <laughs> it's I start armor. again. <laughs> Starting from the guns. <laughs> you think he's doing this on purpose. So, you're the only human. Yep. I'm the only girl. Yep. You're the only gun guy. Well, I'm a gun. You have Kara? Kara. Kara. And what are you the only? Rocker. Rocker. <laughs> no. I guess I'm the only taker in this group. Wait, mm, wait, 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 wait. We're well, takers. You is... already knew about us shit. Look, well, they weren't just like, guys, have fun, learn about each other. Uh, no, they they were like, you're gonna be in a group with this these other three people, and they're like this and this and this. Look, I, I need to ask you a question. Nice assuming they all read the bri briefings. <laughs> Mr. Tate, yeah. Okay. So, Trav read the briefings. You're. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to wrap this around my head. You're a guy who has. What? Implanted inside of his head? A symbiote. I have puppy implanted in my head. <laughs> so you two are kind of like the same thing, but she's bigger. And bigger? He's taller than me. No. Well, I mean, if we were to count you two as the same thing, you would be bigger. I would. Yeah, because you're part of the thing. Yeah? I'm okay. confused now. Uh, are you part Kara? No. I already told you, I don't link up to Kara. Sudden suspicious look. <laughs> suspicious look? You talk kind of funny about her. <laughs> like referring to her by name all the time. Got no problem with Kara. Me and her got no problems at all. See, like that. that that's what I mean. You talk about her kind of funny. D drive, back me up here. If the next rockin' don't go now. Glance over, raise an eyebrow. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. Wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Why would you even do this? Well, what about you, uh, Chicago? What about you? Back me up here? On what? Do, do I sound like I'm talking more about her? Oh, yes. It's not backing me up, that's backing her up. See how it is. See how it is. Okay, so you got a symbiote. I continue being obsessive about my gun. He's obsessive about his guns. <laughs> and you got a puppy. I got a puppy. 
Guys, girl. Who here knows how to cook? Um. Anybody? Puppy? Drop stands up. You guys can go out. Survival and rank three. <laughs> Does survival actually count as cooking ability? Well, I think it counts as like knowing what you know, plants are edible. No, it's kind of a mess and things for that. I well, think at survival isn't... like rank one and two, you're like I can kind of like cook meat, but I'm survival rank three. At this point, I should be able to be like I can make something that doesn't taste shitty. This is except I think cooking counts as a hobby. This is the uh, top quality military base, like higher quality the than most of quality desolate military base. Not desolate, not well, desolate, but better than most of current human like military bases. So we don't have school lunch. Right. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like a, a mini economy here. Like, you know, it, it's not like there's a lavish, there's not like a you know lavish it's restaurants. Like an actual military base of today, except a little bit. Okay. There's not like lavish restaurants, but there's several places you can go and be like, I like this place. They have good pizza. So is anybody else hungry? You can go out to eat and see a movie. And you know you should because it's mandatory. No, food place. Jeff stands up, puts away his gun. I, I guess I could eat. Draft starts heading for the door. I can check on puppy after I eat. Is, is everybody going good? Should we bring back food here? Try to eat as a tame them. Come on, guys. I can't be the only one looking for some cohesion here. Yeah, we should probably eat together. Shrug. If you guys are going to be watching my back, then... What about you, puppy girl? I said I'd go eat. Okay, what about you? I go visit puppy afterwards. What about you? Trav's already standing by the door, and as you ask him this, he motions towards the door. I guess that's a yes. Okay. Uh, to food with us, then. Okay. I collect my money pouch. I guess I have a pouch. Shh. I carry my money in an old-fashioned pouch. My kid bumps at me and runs away. Nothing to worry about. I'll punch him in the face. <laughs> what? Sure, they're electronic credits in this, aren't they? Sure, why not? I carry my electronic credits in a pouch. I think the PCPU is like one of those things from science fiction where it's like everything all together. Okay. Okay? Now you really are weird. What? Why do you carry it in a bag? That's because what girls do. What? No. If, it was, if I was a girl, I'd carry it in a purse. A or bag. a handbag. See? Bag! No, handbag is different from bag. It's a bag you don't put in your hand. Yeah. Okay, okay so as soon as the bag goes in your hand, it's a handbag and you're trying to... Wrong. And I walk out the door. <laughs> Draft is already heading towards some food place. I All don't right. think you're a girl. It's the, okay. the food places that I know of because I just wrote them down while you're arguing. You can go to Millie's. Ooh, that's out then. It's... It, 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 some girl runs this place. It's like an all-around general food thing. Wait, wait, some girl runs it? Can't go there. Next. There's... Don't want to make Cara jealous or something? There's nope. this guy who has, like, the equivalent of a roadside stand. You know, it's official and all, but it doesn't have, like, Some chairs. what? Italian food. Ooh. He doesn't even have a name for the restaurant. People just call it, like, the Italian food place and stuff. He's like, you want spaghetti to go? And then he opens up his tin and is like, spaghetti! Okay, what about, like, old-fashioned Japanese food? And... I want a portal to the meat dimension. And then there's a Chinese buffet. Ooh, Chinese buffet. Yes. Is that for Chinese? And then, and, and then pizza time, because soldiers love pizza. Chinese or pizza? What do you guys think? Um... Buffet. Bad for restraint. Uh, yes, it is bad for restraint, but it's very, very good for filling you up. Does that mean you want to go to the buffet, or you don't want to go to the buffet? Shrug! I'm confused by my team. What about you, Ghost of Chicago Pass? Hi. You just talk weird in general, don't you? Oh, yeah! Look, I gotta entertain myself, or else I'll go insane. I think you might already be there. Look, more insane, okay? Go to Chicago past. The doctors say I'm going to go insane. I don't think I'm insane yet, though. That's very good, puppy girl. I'm not puppy girl. I'm fusion. Trav.
Trav, Trav. Let's go to Chicago. Let's go to the Chinese place. Let's go, man. Let's just go. Let's walk. Trav looks to the other two. Are they moving? Are you two moving? She's following. Okay, she's following. What about him? I guess so. Okay. I guess Trav follows. Okay, we go to the Chinese place. Alright. It's run by a not Chinese guy because he's Nazai. Okay. Oh. And you're like, yo. Are we going to have to make like tenacity checks? No. Because we eat so much. No. As, uh, if you want to eat so much that you have to make tenacity checks, then sure. No. <laughs> but, Not on uh, purpose. If I eat so much that I have to make a tenacity check, will I have to eat again later? No, we'll just get the fat. If you fail the tenacity check. Ooh. What happens if I fail? Do I puke or what? Yes. Mm. How hard would the tenacity check be? Depends on how much you eat. Oh, give me the dice. Uh oh. I wish I hadn't said anything. No, seriously, give me the dice. Yes. No, you just need the fat drawback and piloting your back becomes harder. Now, let's see. I'm going to need more d6 than just one, I think. Is it right. d10? Two more in here. I think you need d10. Right. Is it d10s or d6s? Uh, it's d10s. Yeah, this Good. is a d10 system. All, all dice are d10s. How many? What's your well, capacity be? Three. Three of them. Alright. What do I have to roll here? Oh, difficulty to not throw up after eating so much you want to throw up. I'm gonna say that's like an eight. Eight? Okay. So I just need to roll one. Ones are bad, so you need to roll two. Oh, that's two. Five, five, nine. You, you pass. Okay. Damn, Damn, I'm good. They're like, oh god, I'm so sick. I think I can eat a little more. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm stuffed. I don't think I've ever seen that much food Try by one man. One one yeah, same. <laughs> so, grab, where are you from? Drav shrugs. I see. John crosses his arms. Not as planned. I'm I'm from here. Here, here. This military base. I I lived with the military my whole life. They named me. That makes a lot of sense. What's that supposed to mean? You don't have a very normal Nazadi type name. Like that guy and that guy had what odd names, but not you. My name's weird. Yes, but it's a human word. It's yeah, not. it's it's human weird. It's not Nazadi weird. Weird is weird. So there. I belong. It doesn't follow Nazadi language rules. Well, why don't you guys come up with a nickname for her? Jeez. I don't think I'd reply. I would get confused. Well, just give it a chance. You're talking funny again. Look, look, puppy girl, look. I'm not puppy girl! Look! Alright, are you guys gonna do anything after the food? Look, Nick, we're bonding, okay? We're Shut up. Keep arguing. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's, a, that's good bonding. Okay. That's acceptable. Good job. Okay, shut up. Are you just going to see these are names? on their way right fucking now? What? What CDs? The bad. CDs I ordered like 10 months ago. What's wrong with the names? What CDs just were there? Should I go around? Do you not like being called the Ghost of Chicago Past? No. I see. But it incorporates two of your names. In the wrong order. Yes, but it's an amusing order. You, you should be able to remember my name pretty easily, considering you call your name Kara. And my name is Karan. But see, that's weird. And ghost. Chicago. Okay, fine. God. No amusement out of the lobby. Hey! CDs are on the way. Shane O'Reilly and the Double Ice Backfires Triple Super Album. Cool. I'm happy. Good job. Because man. I ordered it like 10 months ago. <laughs> and they were like, alright, we'll get it done eventually. And then they're like, oh shit, you know, our our stuff got messed up during encryption, so we're gonna have to do it again. And then they're like, oh shit, you know, we tried to press it, but then the people we sent it to wouldn't press it onto the right CDs. 
and then we got the Asylum's mix, but then we didn't like the mix from the Iozoon, so we had to take it to another guy. Then we sent it to another prepping facility, and they had, like, messed up. And then we had to send it to a third one, and then they were just sitting there. Damn, Mike, you know your own badge? Yes. I don't get it. Like I said, it's good. You don't get it? No. Well, earlier, Mike said he had a badge of barbecue chips instead of bag. Oh. You caught yeah. up. <laughs> That's it. So, Alright, so apparently, nobody likes some of my nicknames. I just don't want to be called Puppy Girl. Alright, whatever, Fusion. There we go. Look at that puppy's a guy or a girl. Hmm. Not touching that one. Well, you call yours a she. Well, yes, because Kara is a she. Well, why can't I figure out if mine's a she or not? Well, I would kind of imagine you would already know. They don't tell you. Because I never asked. So, what about you, ghost? Your Drop thing? Drop the towel. Oh, you what? bastard! Yes! Still very clever. <laughs> so your thing have a gender? Symbiote. He covers it. <laughs> if anything, it would be male. Okay, so you got a dude on your back, you got something on your back, and I got a chick. It's not on my back. Metaphorically speaking. I don't think that's a metaphor, but okay. Blood fusion. It's working. We're not working enough. So I imagine we're just sitting at the table at the Chinese place after everyone's done talking. God damn it, Kyle. We're, we're bonding. Okay? Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah, that's, that's allowed. And you guys can still eat if you want. It's a buffet. I eat more. No, you don't. It's only been like 10 minutes. Okay. They're still resting, digesting, flexing. <laughs> Okay, Drab ate a reasonable amount. Alright, so, uh... Um, everyone did, but... Yeah. Alright, well what now? You guys can go to a movie. What movies are playing? Does anybody have a cell phone? Anybody? Cell there's, phone? There's only two movies that are playing right now. One of them's a comedy, and one of them's a romantic comedy. Fuck both of them. What, they're not gonna be like... Incredible war movies! Oh god, friends dying, such drama! And you're like living in the military base reminiscing about your five dead friends and you're like, Drow pulls out his phone and looks at them. Mm -hmm. The movies? Yeah. Oh, well, one of them's called, um, A Week in Heaven. It's the romantic comedy one. And it's about this guy who tells this girl that he's an angel, but he's not really. But eventually she learns to love him anyway. This is all in the Drow Turns the phone. This, this was all in the trailer. An, an angel, angel, angel or an angel angel? He's an angel? An angel. Okay. No. An angel. Sounds like a shitty movie. And, you know, they ruined it all in the trailer, but that's pretty normal. And then the other one is um, this amusing comedy about this Nazani guy who was like. Um, who goes Maybe to blackface. A week in dead Nazadis? No. Uh, <laughs> he, he he likes, you know, this human girl, but when he goes to visit, you know, her family, her parents are, like, racist against the Zadis in a hilariously backwards way. Both of these so movies saw like crap. crap. Ashton Kutcher movie. <laughs> Travis right. taps the phone on the romantic comedy. Why? Shrug. Look, look, man, it's a cra- it's gonna be crap? I'm just telling you. Can we go see Puppy afterwards? Sure. <gasps> okay, let's go watch a movie. <sighs> Giraffe flips the phone shut. Victory achieved. God damn. Heads to the movies. Fine. Fine. Are you, you guys don't have to go. You can just let them go see the romantic movie by themselves. Go see I don't know if I want to leave him with her in no. the movie. It'll be fine. Sarah is like the slightly insane girl. You really think anything's going to happen? I didn't necessarily say it would be him causing the problem. <laughs> Look, it'll yeah, be fine. if anything I'm happens, we'll just fail right here. I'm hungry. Okay, I really don't want to go see the puppy anyway. So. Aww. Your puppy doesn't like me, so. Puppy doesn't like so you. So they go have male bonding. Uh, 
I'm not gonna go inside, but no one goes in there. Yeah, I guess. So yeah, what should we do? Go enjoy your male bondage. I mean bonding, of course. Um, let's see here. Oh, the male bondage club down Go to the, the firing range. It's a popular military pastime. No, it's not. That's your job. That's like the accountants and they're like, man, ugh, I better go home and do some math to relax. Some people do. Some people do. It's like a librarian saying, oh man, I gotta read these books. No, that's a librarian saying, oh, I need to sort these books. All of them. I think we're librarians to read. Yeah. Read what the hell are we going to do, Ghost? It's like a librarian who goes spar. home and reads. It's spar. crazy. What the hell do you mean, spar? Beat the crap out of each other first day here? Yeah. Sounds like a good enough idea. Let's do it. Alright, yeah. you getting your giant robot? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we'd get in trouble if we did that much, but I assume there's probably a place see on the base that we can go spar. Hey! Well, um. Speaking, it's pretty it. much exactly as you were led to believe in the trailer. Also, they showed all the like the, the four funniest parts in the trailer. I um, didn't watch the trailer. And uh, he's not an angel at all. <laughs> she was confused. And was he he looked. Trav looks over. And uh, uh. and he's watching the movie. <laughs> At the end, he's like, I'm not really an angel, I just had Halloween feathers on. And she's like, you love me that much that you would lie right to my face? That's so sweet. And then they kiss. Ew. Drop not to get a little sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I did watch that movie. And, and, and as like, he walks away, there's like, you know, a slow floating feather panning down. It's like, oh, it's a feather, get it? Because this movie was about a guy pretending to be an angel. Oh, oh, oh. It's like a metaphor, but not for anything. There was too much kissing. There, there was only like two kisses. Too much kissing. Alright, so while they watch a crappy movie, me and him are going to spark. Oh dear lord. Which is a good chance to try and figure out what the combat's like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's your... Real reason for this, right, guys? Don't give a crap. <laughs> it was just the best idea I had. It seemed fitting. Alright, let's see here. Neither of my specializations will come in handy, but. One of mine will. Oh crap, no, wait. This is not a good thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't put any points into my fighting. What? <laughs> I just armed fighting. You can pick up a stick. So are yeah. you guys gonna get like, like you know ow. some? I have a stick. Uh, are you gonna be like all right and get like a training club or whatever? Training club? Oh, yeah. Like the... What, like a shock stick or something? No, no, oh. no yeah, nothing. I thought. Go to a like, place where like you go to a club where you train. Oh, them. oh, yeah. Fight Club. Okay. Well, I said there's probably a place know. on base that has something like that. So. Yeah. Yeah. But, I'm uh, uh, I, are you going smart. to get like some sort of training weapon? Uh -huh. No, I'm just going to go hand to hand. Oh, sure. I'll have to go hand to hand. Wait a second. How does it, how exactly is this going to work? Because I don't have any ranks in fighting. I'm just playing hand to hand, unless armed uh, fighting counts. If he's using fighting, you can defend with arm fighting. But I don't have a weapon. But you can get one here. You can be like, it's a stick. But that'd be a pussy move. No, it wouldn't, because that's the only way you've ever trained. And that guy's trained in fighting with his hands. Like super yeah. well. In fact, he's a martial artist. Oh. Huh? So fighting him specifically in hand to hand, <laughs> not a good idea when you're. So I get a stick. <laughs> Alright, you got a stick. Good work. Well, what's your fighting level? Uh, well, my agility is 10, and I have three ranks of fighting. Okay, then you probably wouldn't hold your stick like yeah. this. <laughs> that one. Just saying, it's stick probably something food. more like ah. this. Well, throw them off. No, dude, I'm not, I'm not holding the quarters out. I'm on a fight club. Like at the top of Yeah. <laughs> I still think your other hand would be like this. <laughs> no, it's my other hand's like this one, block. It's like boxing. Okay. But without the gloves. And without the fists. Oh man, there's more races. Or those classes. No, those are more races. There are half Nazati and mutant half Nazati. Yeah. And the white people. 
Those would be the mutants. That, they're all fine. white. That's, yeah. Yeah, there's the white people. Supposedly, I think those are like, like the Hanzuri. Th those, those are supposedly, yeah, I am. Supposedly, those guys are like super rare. It says that the average person, like in living in the regular society, walking on the street, will like see one a month and be like, whoa. Okay. So keep yeah, going, though. Yeah, that's all pretty good. I make a pilot. He no, might you probably like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he so more jobs. Uh, Psychers. Okay, but what that guy? No. no. These. There's a reason she has a look of horrified insanity. But scroll up, because what the cool thing I was talking about was up here. That guy. That guy. Yeah, Kane investigator. Yeah. He looks pretty badass. He's a magic detective. Okay. Zoners basically are insane and have magic powers. Okay, next. Yep. Alright. But that's it. I was looking up his awesome powers. I forget exactly yeah, where that is. Here we go. Here's the description of it really quick. How many, uh... I just uh, have one specialization in it. Uh, how many actions do you have? Uh, two. Wait, are we dueling with armor on or not on? Armor not on. I don't have armor. Okay. Right. So armor not on. Where is it? Where's where it describes... There it is. Combination of graceful style of kung fu such as snake and tiger, concentrating on whip-like hand strikes and disabling opponents. So what's the damage on my stick? <laughs> uh, by plus zero because it's you a guys goddamn should, like, play training points. stick. You know, one hit is a point, so that way you're not literally beating each other. Or, um, or it's okay. Just... He concentrates on disabling strikes, and he regenerates, so he can get yeah. beat with the stick pretty well, pretty easily. Still. You should just worry about him. It's fine. I'll just have Kara call me. So wait, what are my moves again? Carl, Carl. Knife hand. Alright, you got front kick. Basically a Sparta kick. You got your knife hand, which is where you're like a lock, where you lock an opponent's limbs. A nerve strike. And a trip, 